I can promise you that at some point in your manifestation journey, or even you might still be doing it now, that when a negative thought comes up, you are panicked about whether or not that is going to manifest. And then you try to push it away and it comes back and then you're panicking that you're making things worse and worse and worse. In this video, I'm gonna set your mind at ease as to what thoughts do and don't manifest. So stick around to find out. Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back. My name is Matthew and today I am here to help clear the air about what thoughts will and won't manifest. But before we get into that, if you are in need of my assistance on helping you bring in your desires, check the links below in the comment section and the description for my website. With that said, let's get into this video. A part of the way into my law of assumption journey when I kind of understood the general concept but I didn't know everything or I didn't have experience in everything. There was this pocket of time when I had a few negative thoughts about whether or not I would be able to pay a bill that had come in. What started off as intrusive thoughts of what if the money doesn't come, what if this doesn't happen, yada yada yada. Over a period of time, the more that I tried to push those thoughts away, ended up coming back worse and worse. What started off as I haven't got the money for this, then was like what if no one can lend me the money? What if I end up going into more debt? What if I end up being homeless because I can't afford this bill and then they're going to take my stuff away and yada yada yada. I create this massive tangent. But the interesting thing about this was, it wasn't until around about the what if I go into a lot more debt thoughts, that I actually started to really invest in these thoughts. My heart would start to pound, I would start to be like, oh this could happen, this could happen. I would start looking for ways to get out of it. Before I was even in debt, I was looking at ways to get out of debt. I hadn't even let my scenario play out before already panicking about the way that things were going to go. What ended up happening was I applied a lot more focus and a lot more power and truth to the thoughts about being in debt and being homeless than I did about the, the beginning ones of just simply not being able to pay the bill. And what ended up happening was that bill actually did get paid and was perfectly fine. However, something else came up that caused me to get put in a lot more debt. So the original intrusive thought, I didn't give any power to, and actually didn't even happen anyway. But what did happen was I gave power to the negative thought that was further along this train of thought, the thought of being in debt, and ended up actually having a different scenario play out to put me in debt. So the moral of this story is what you assign to be true to you is what will be true to you, both good and bad. So if we go back to the original question of what thoughts will and won't manifest and give a little bit of background to it, we are not our thoughts. We are, our, we are our awareness. We place our awareness on these thoughts and provide them the power to be true to us. If you have a negative thought, an undesirable thought, a limiting belief or a self-doubting thought, if you just let it come up and then let it go in its own time without giving any power to it, it will not have any restraint in your life. It will not be able to shackle you. However, if this negative thought comes up and you give it power, you assign it to be true to you, then there is the high potential that that could manifest for you. Same with positive thoughts. If they come up and you assign them to be true to you, there's a lot more chance that they will end up manifesting. Whereas if you just let them come up and go, they might not. And this is one of the reasons why we say to continue to do your affirmations, to continue to visualize, to continue to script or whatever your techniques are and to keep going until it comes in. Because you might not give power to these visualizations. You might not experience the fulfillment. You might not give truth to these positive and desirable end thoughts, which is why they might not have been pressed yet. So using this as a basis, whenever a thought comes up, you can choose whether or not it's going to have any power over you. If it's a good thought, then I would choose it to be true for you. If it's a negative thought, I would say that you don't have to worry about it. Just let it come up and then let it go. Just accept that your th brain is thinking of stuff, but you are not your thoughts. You are the awareness that you place on these thoughts. So once you notice it, don't give it power and let it go and it will not manifest or it has a lot less likelihood of manifesting. Whereas if you have good thoughts, absolutely assign them to be true to you and give them the power that those thoughts deserve to play out in your reality. What you will find will happen as well by letting the thoughts come up and then go in your own time is because you're not placing the power on them, your awareness or anything like that, your brain will not have anything to feed this thought. It will just simply move on. 
This is why it's called a train of thought, because your brain is like a train just going from one stop to another. So if you like basically starve this thought of any energy, simply just say, I see what I'm being shown. This isn't true for me because in fact, in my reality, yada, 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 you'll find that either one or two things will happen or possibly three, but not likely. The first one is that your brain will then start to focus on the thing that you have just declared to be true to you and then go on a tangent from there. Or it will just say, oh, that's true for us. And because you're saying that it's true for you, it has no reason to think about it. And thus will go on to a completely different topic. The third thing is that it might bring that thought back up, but it is a lot less likely. And if it does, just rinse and repeat this process. And you will find that your negative thoughts will have not as much power to manifest for you, but will also not come up anywhere near as often. I find that negative thoughts only come up for me now when something immediately happens and I've thought about it, or if I really apply energy and power towards previous thoughts that I've had. Other than that, I very, very rarely get just random intrusive thoughts throughout the day. I very rarely get repeating intrusive thoughts either. So take that in mind. And this is how you can identify what thoughts will and won't manifest, is the way that you react to said thoughts, the way that you handle said thoughts, and the way that you go forward after said thoughts. Focus on the good and don't give power to the bad, and that is all you have to do to know what thoughts will and won't manifest. I trust this video has helped. If it has, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.